The future of fiber optics in Mason County appears bright after it was announced a few weeks ago that the utility will continue expanding its fiber optic system into more rural areas. iFiber One News ventured out into the new regions where Internet will be sourced through the PUD's fiber network. The future installation of 20 miles of fiber wire is part of the PUD's Fiberhood program. Seven regions, which include the Satsup Maple Glen, Schaefer Park, Tahuya, and Hartstein Island areas, will be supplied with fiber quality internet through local communications companies such as iFiber. Unbeknownst to many residents in the soon to be served areas, it was welcome news to those we spoke to. I think it's a good thing. I think everybody around the area would benefit from it. We've had so many problems with what we got right now that uh, it's sometimes you don't know whether you want to keep it or not. I actually think it'd be a pretty good idea since uh, it's hard to get any uh, type of signal or anything out here. Mm-hmm. It's going to be good for the, the area. According to my wife, it's a very big deal. Uh, we have lousy internet out here and uh, also terrible cell phone reception. And uh, she's excited that fiber optics are coming out here. And I'm sure from a business standpoint, uh, that's going to make what business owners are out here a lot happier. Uh, As far as some little guy like me and my wife, just the convenience of having faster speeds out here, more reliability. iFiber One News also journeyed out to Lake New Oxel in Mason County, where several iFiber customers said fiber internet has enhanced the quality of their lives. It, it, when things were bad weather, you know, the forest fires, we just didn't get any information, and now we do. So I, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's made a difference in our life. We communicate. Used to be we felt kind of isolated and, uh, what'd you say, out of the loop, but now uh, now we're not. Well, like I say, it's just made the internet faster. I think it was worth it in the long run. Mason PUD 3 telecommunications engineer Dale Knutson discussed how the PUD determines where to build fiber. It's part of their having quality of life, being able to have educational opportunities, and not being left behind. I mean, they need to be able to um, uh, communicate and be able to have access to top notch world class internet services and not be disadvantaged, where they have the same opportunities, uh, the kids can grow up having access to online services the same they would in Seattle and Tacoma. And we, we want that equality so everyone has an opportunity to have the same level of access to the quality broadband. Um, and the other things we've identified in areas where there is a need, we, we know where things are underserved and served, not only from just the, some of the information that's available to the public, but also by our customers telling us and ask us, we don't have internet, and can you service that? If you think high-speed internet is a high priority in your neck of the woods, go to masonpud3.org forward slash fiberhood to petition for fiber in your neighborhood. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News.